You know, but now um, this guy, the jazz, he's making it into a blues and he's putting more pentatonic. So you can make anything into a blues song, you know. So, but it's hard. It's, it's like it limits you. Yo creo que uno de los más importantes es cuando uno está comenzando en blues es hacer las cosas sencillas. Um, en este mismo video que yo vi, se llama Rock School, hace como 35 años. Yo recuerdo viendo un video de Freddie King, hay un segmento como un video chiquitito de Freddie King tocando. Y ese solo súper impresionante. Yo, wow, ese solo tan rico. Y además tocaba tres notas, todo solo. Sí. No, todo solo, pero la mayor sí. parte fue como muy sencillo. Y, y la idea es que no complicar las cosas, pero hacerlo sencillo. Uh -huh. y, y hacer las cosas con intención, no como rambling. Como, yeah. te, como te dije antes, que sí. es como hablar. Si usted comienza a ramble o rambles, es como comenzar una huila en un bar. <risa> en cinco minutos ya sí, no quieres hablar nada de ella. Es igual tocando, uh -huh. es igual con, tocando blues. Uh -huh. um, Hacer cosas con, con, con la intención, hago una nota con intención, no 15 sin intenciones. But, but, y, uh -huh. no, no, y, y, y yo creo que es importante enfocar, por, por ejemplo, ahorita yo estaba viendo que uh -huh. usted está como buscando notas, está por ahí, sí. por allá. Uh -huh. Enfoque en una posición y busca uh -huh. tres notas que uh -huh. funcionan. Por ejemplo, en, si estoy tocando en la. cambiar posición okay. estoy tocando cuatro notas okay. no, vamos a cuatro uh -huh. no cambia nada no estoy tocando ni Se lo ando buscando Llegar a otra nota fuera de este patrón. 
menor y cambio buscar la nota, hago un bend de llegar a esta nota. Y simplificar las cosas. Porque si usted no puede tocar un solo simplificada, ¿cómo va a tocar algo complicado? No, esa es una buena práctica. Solo toca, busca, um, busca como pa, un patrón como esta y todo muy sencillo. Okay. Yo antes tenía clases con un guitarrista, ¿no? cuando yo estudié jazz, yo no soy jazzista para nada, pero sí tomé clases en la U de jazz. Y, y un, un truco, el, el, el trofe mío que más toca con una cuerda, un solo una cuerda nada más. solo dos notas para ver si puedo What I'm saying is really simple, simplify things as much as you can. And if you can't do something with that, how are you going to do something with a bunch of notes? It's going to be even harder. Look at Ronnie Earl, man. Just watch Ronnie Earl videos. It's amazing. I mean, people just sit there stupefied and he's playing really basic notes because he's playing all those notes with a feel. But, what, but, but here, the main thing we, we're missing, too, is that you guys got to know the chords yeah. because all notes are, all this shit is, is, is chords. What is a chord? A chord is just notes. You know, you've got a chord, it makes up uh, the notes in, in a scale. And you gotta know the difference between a 13th chord or a, a regular regular chord. See, there's a lot of people that play pretty blues. You know, this is what I, you know, they, they, I, I go to like, you know, they, they play like... Same thing now, let's take a look, they got the... Um, uh, Three chords, right? I got the blues today. Four. I got the blues today. I got the blues today. I got the blues today. I mean, that's just horrible. It's just because it's all a regular scale. But there's there's no. There's nothing in that scale that gives you the blue note. So now all of a sudden if you go, let's take a, um, um, let's just take a seventh. The four, I got the blues today. But what, what, see, I like using a lot of verses. Lord, I got the blues today. Four. Lord, I got the blues today. See, now if I try to, I'm trying to say that with the regular chord. Lord, I got the blues today. There's nothing for me to grab onto. Now, as your guitar player, see, that's why, getting back to like the Junior Watson thing and Ronnie Earl, when you go to sit in with big guys like that, then all of a sudden, if you can sit there and you, it's just like in basketball, we have certain, there's like the star and people, you know, serve up to the star, like LeBron James and Michael Jordan. It's the same thing. When, when you're sitting there with a guitar player and you give them the respect, like we had a lot of respect between, last night concert between, you know, Tim, Carlos, and myself. So instead of us all stepping on each other, like it jams, everybody's going, you know, I'm, I'm giving him. So when he plays, he's got, so you can play more with a blue scale when you got the. Because the chord, the chord gives you the notes that you can, that you can, you can play on. You know what I'm saying? That's why, how do I explain that where, 
you know, the, the more you've got to, to, is a backup. It's the same thing like with jazz. You've got you've got movement. You've got more comping. Yeah. When you're comping behind somebody, they've got the vocalist or the harmonica player or saxophone or other guitar player has something more to hold on to instead of this. Oh, I got the blues today. Instead of the. I got the blues. You know, yeah. lo, the other thing that's really important, and I'll explain this in Spanish. It's just that when you start doing, even if I did the right chords, if I start doing, there's not a lot for me to grab on either because you're filling up all the space. And the, when, this, when you're playing chords, you gotta like not take up all the space by going. And that's what a lot of that. No, no, I not. Another guitar player. No, that's what I'm right. saying. And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to do that shit. No, no, no. no. Es, siempre es espacio. Y, y no sé quién lo dijo, no sé si fue un jazzista famoso o alguien, pero dice, creo que fue Miles Davis. Que, que Miles Davis dijo como, es como no las notas que tocan, pero las notas que no tocan. O la música no está en las notas, pero están en los espacios. Algo así, no recuerdo exactamente cómo es la expresión. Pero aquí yo he notado mucho en, en Costa Rica. Cuando se va a un blues jam, uh -huh. lo, el comp, todo el mundo quiere solear, obviamente, porque eso es la parte más extrema.